Mapping the global seafloor is vital in aiding our understanding of our planet and its climate. However, with an estimated 75% of the seafloor unexplored, the world's vast oceans are still largely unknown. When it comes to our daily lives, the most crucial areas for us to focus on are the coasts. To understand and predict coastal change, we need accurate, large-scale measurements of key parameters, including bathymetry. Unfortunately, nearly 50% of the world's coastal waters remain unsurveyed. The shallow water zones near the coast are home to around 10% of the world's population and many megacities. These low-lying regions are also important for industrial applications, coastal protection, and management. Coastal areas are highly dynamic and vulnerable to natural and human-induced changes such as erosion, extreme weather events, sea level rise, and population movements. Continuous monitoring of the world's coasts is necessary. Gathering bathymetric data for shallow coastal waters has always been a challenge. Traditional methods like sonar or lidar are time-consuming and expensive. As a result, data for many coastal regions is either unavailable or decades old. Satellite-derived bathymetry, SDB, is a promising technology to bridge this information gap. It uses multispectral optical data to estimate the depth of nearshore waters. Space data has been used to map the ocean floor for several decades, but the resolution of these methods is not enough for shallow waters. STB uses optical image data and an algorithm called multispectral signal attenuation to estimate water depth. By analyzing the color profile and spectral characteristics of coastal areas with known depths, algorithms can infer water depth from new spectral information. This approach can estimate water depth down to 30 meters with a high level of accuracy. The resolution and number of spectral bands used in the data determine the accuracy of the results. Even lower resolution data can provide valuable information. Today, data for SDB is measured from various satellite sources, such as Landsat 8, Sentinel-2, and Pleiades. Airbus recently launched a new constellation called Pleiades Neo, which has a very high resolution of 30 centimeters and features a new spectral band called Deep Blue. This band allows for much better interpretation of optical data for shallow waters than previously possible. Thanks to development of satellite technology, it is possible to discover our planet. To learn more, visit the source article in GeoAwesome Community.